hi guys welcome back to my channel um so this is kind of the second part of my um bullet journal binding the kit together tutorial um so if you haven't seen the first video um have a look at it it's in my bullet journaling playlist and it's called making the uh, bullet journaling kit into a book so that's what we did in the last video we sewed the signature now this video is talking about how to add the signature for one month of your bullet journal how to connect it and add it to all your other signatures and um, you know other months of your bullet journal um, so that's what we're going to be doing today. So you want to um, put all your signatures together in order of how you want them to go. And you want like some bulldog clips or paper clips. I like these big ones because they're easy to hold everything together. And you want to clip all of your signatures together so that they're held into place for when you go to sew the um the signatures and connect them all up so i put a clip up the top and i put a clip down the bottom to hold it all now you want your needle and your thread and i've just realized that i've done my my dots are not in line at the top and the bottom but normally you would have your um three punctures where you've been sewing in the signatures they would all be in line with each other so i'll just show you on this center one what you want to do is put it through that first i don't know how well you can see it you want to go through the first um under the first cotton um line near this near the center and you kind of you just want to tie a knot so we're going to do that now hopefully you guys can still see when i put it down what i'm doing i'm going to leave a bit of a tail you can cut it off later i don't have um a lot of signatures so it may be hard for you guys to see and um, it may not work very well I've you know I like to do this when I've got a lot of signatures and it's really thick because then it's easier to see what you're doing um, but anyway what we've done is we've tried our knot there on the first signature now we want to go to the second um, line in the second signature and go underneath that and pull your cotton through and keep it as close to you know where you've tied everything as possible and you're kind of weaving so the next signature you want to skip then you go to the signature after that and you want to go under so you know when you're you're weaving in a pattern I'll show you um, what can I show you with is the question let's have a look at this see if we can do it here so you see all these I've only got two there but you know under one over the next under one over the next that kind of thing is what you want to be doing um, with these signatures 
I'll do another tutorial on this when I've got a whole lot to put together at once because it'll be easier for you to see but hopefully you get the idea on this little one so we've done that now um because I've only got like three very skinny signatures here I'm just going to tie the two strings together And I know it looks messy on the outside, but you know, when you're ready to bind it all into a cover, you're not even going to see any of this. So I really wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, and you're not going to see it when it's sitting inside your journal or your traveler's notebook anyway. Okay, so I've tied all that together. Now I'm going to weave again, but on that. So we've done this side. I'm going to do it now on this side of the, um, the cotton ties. And I'm just going to go under the first um, signature's cotton and over the second and then under the third and over the fourth. And then I'm going to go back under the fourth just because it's the end like back under so it's kind of like hopefully you guys can see so it's kind of like that and you you can tie a knot then I like to tie as many knots as possible so it just makes it to me seem a bit more secure and like secure in how it's connected and tied together And then I'm going to cut that. So you can see I've got a lot of tails there, but you're not going to see that once you've done your cover and it's all connected. So now I'm going to do the bottom ones and I'm kind of all out of, you know, line here, but that's okay. Because you're not going to see it anyway and hopefully it'll still work. That was a mistake on my part. I didn't. I forgot to measure it like I um, had measured all the others. So I'm going to tie a knot on this, the end of the cotton on the signature I've got on top here and leave a bit of a tail. So I've tied a knot. And I'm going to get the second signature and I'm going to go under the um, cotton on it. Yep. I'm going under like that. I'm going to pull it all the way through. So now I'm going over the next one. I'm going over. And I'm going to my final because I've only got full signatures here and I'm going under. And so I've weaved it. Now I'm going to go back over and I'm going under the um, the second one, over the third and back under the fourth. And then I'm going to tie it up with the, the tail on the end here. Make it all secure. You eating? Come on, eat up. So my toddler is taking forever to eat her morning tea. She's sitting there doing silly business. Okay, and then I just want to cut that and leave a little bit of a tail there, I guess. And I want to do the same on the top. So 
going to tie a knot so I just went under the cotton I'm going to tie a knot I like to do it a couple of times just to make sure it feels secure. Okay, so I'm going to go under the second the cotton of the second signature, pull it tight, go over the top of the third, and under the fourth, pull it tight. Then I'm going to come back um, under the, the third or the second last one. I don't really know how to explain it. Hopefully you guys get what I mean. So I'm going under that one, over the next one and under the final one and pulling it nice and tight. Finding the, the tail and tie, just tying the two ends together. And that should secure all your signatures together. Sorry for the noise of the car. Um, my neighbours are going out. And they take forever to get in and out of the driveway. And they come right up close to where I'm sitting, like this. I've got a window right there and they come right up to it when they reverse. So that's what that noise is, you guys. As I said, if you don't, you know, if this video is a bit hard to follow, I will be making another one with when I get more signatures. But there are heaps of tutorials on this method on YouTube you just have to search for you know um, things like junk journal making junk journal signatures um, book binding tutorials that's how I learned how to do all of this okay so hopefully now it'll all be together and you'll have a book so I'm going to take my clips off and have a look going to put that there. Is it all together? Yep, it's just a bit loose, but um, the more when I get more signatures and the more I bind in all the other signatures, the tighter it will come. So you can see these first couple here are quite tight. This last one here that we've just done is a bit loose, but it is it is connected, so that's all we wanted to do for now. Um, we'll make it a lot tighter as time goes by and we add more signatures to it. Um, as I said, I do have tutorials on how to make a cover to bind all of these into a, a cover so it looks nice. Um, that can be found in my bullet journaling playlist. It's called... Um, easy tutorial making my bullet journal cover so go check that out that's like the next step from this once you've got everything together it's the final step on how to put it all into a book and make it look like an actual book um, but this is going straight back into here my traveler's notebook so I'm not too worried about doing that for now because I have these covers anyway that it'll slide into so you know I'll just find the middle of all of this and slide it through this elastic here and it'll sit in there like a book anyway um, so yes that was my tutorial for today um, on how to 
connect one signature to all your other signatures and months in your bullet journal. If you're using my downloadable bullet journal kit, um, which can be found on my Etsy store. So um, links are in the description below for that. Go and check it out. Please share, like, subscribe, comment. Um, it really helps me out, helps out my channel. Um, and yeah, my Etsy store is D's Creations. As I said, links are in the description below. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, enjoy the rest of your day evening, night, wherever you are in the world and we'll see you in some more videos. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Peace. Bye-bye.